On December 12, 1992, the worst snowstorm in a hundred years hit the East Coast. In East Hartford, Connecticut, Sarah Amanek and her husband Michael had gone to the hospital the night before when she experienced what the doctors thought was false labor and had been sent home. Around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, the contractions started up again. Hey, honey, where's your dad? Hey, what's going on? I think the baby's on the way now. All right, all right, sit down. Right. At that point, we weren't sure if we were overreacting to the contractions, and quite frankly, looking out the window, we were unsure that we should try to venture out in the weather. The snow was coming down so hard I couldn't see the house across the street. I'm not gonna make it. They're coming. I wasn't really scared because I just thought that she would drive to the hospital, but that's not how it worked out. East Hartford Emergency. Yeah, my wife's in labor and we need an ambulance. Okay, how many months is she into her pregnancy? Uh, eight, and a half, eight months, eight, exactly. Okay, and your name? Sir? Mike Hamannick, A-M-A-N-E-K. Is this her first child? No, third. Third? Yeah. Is she bleeding or spotting? Yes, she is. East Hartford Police Dispatcher Wilma McKelvey took the call. Once the man on the phone told me that his wife was spotting, I knew something was going to happen soon. So I just stayed on the phone with him, coaching him, like, make sure you have a towel ready just in case. Okay, I want you to tell her to lay down if you want. Put a towel underneath her. Okay. Katie, come here. Go upstairs and get me a towel. We'll show her to lay down. I thought it would be me if she had the baby at home. Then I thought, well, the ambulance will get here. Paramedic Bruce Lockwood was several miles from the scene. We advise we have chains on. It's going to take us a while to get there. Given the conditions, I hoped that we were going to make it to the hospital. Eight months pregnant, she's premature. It's going to happen whether we're there or not. But if it's a bad experience, we definitely don't want him in that position having to deliver the baby. Do you know? No, we don't know. Oh, even better. <laughs> this is what gets you through it. I really didn't think she was going to have the baby here. I really expected the cavalry to show up and that I was going to take a walk. These are coming pretty good. Okay, all right. Just breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 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 One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm so sick of okay. Just breathe. Just breathe. I'm so sick of okay. Once I heard her moaning in the background saying that she felt the need to push, I started getting worried. Okay, Bobby and Katie upstairs. Oh. Tell her don't, not to stop the pushing. Don't stop it. Don't stop the pushing. If she feels that she has to, I don't want her to. I had never had a complete birth on the phone, and this was going to be the first one. She had a cesarean, the first oh, one. Oh, gosh. She had she a cesarean? Had... The childbirth card gives us a sequence during normal okay. childbirth. But when the man told me that his wife had had a cesarean, I was very worried because I didn't know what complications could happen. Did the doctor say that the baby was in position yesterday? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, it is coming. Oh. Baby's definitely coming. Oh. Okay, so relax. There's a, like a bubble coming up. Okay, do you have towels under yeah. her? Okay, when she has a contraction, I want you to place your hand against her vagina. Yep. And apply firm but gentle pressure to keep the baby's head from coming out too fast and okay. tearing her, okay? Just put your hand there. Coming. They're coming. They're on the way. It was heavy snow, and the road conditions never really cleared up. We had trouble with traffic, and when we hit the side roads, it was like they hadn't even been plowed. Say sweet things to her. Just blow. It's okay. It's okay. Just blow. Katie and Bobby, stay upstairs, okay? I was concerned about Katie and Bobby hearing their mother in pain, knowing that this could be a dangerous situation and that they were here to witness something horrible. Okay, just keep your hand there, hon. Tell her it's almost coming. Tell her you'll get her a new sofa for Christmas. <laughs> Very gentle. Okay. okay, it's coming out now. Well, Baby's head's out. Okay, turn the head sideways. Okay. And clean the baby's mouth. Okay. And his nose with, uh, with a piece of the towel, okay? The baby's head was out, and almost in slow motion, it turned up to me, and one little hand came up alongside his face, and it was a real breathtaking experience. I've got his head in his hand. His hand Maybe. is out? 
Yeah. Oh, great. All right, sweetie, relax. Here comes the other shoulder. Okay. Boom. All right, shoulders are out. All right, I'm going to put the baby on her stomach. Okay. Wrap him in the towel if you can. We got a baby here. As soon as the baby came out, there was an immense feeling of relief. I was amazed, totally amazed. I mean, here's Mike handing me this baby, and, and it was done. We did it. You know, there was no doctor. There was no ambulance. We did it. I don't know. I could hear Mom was moaning, and a couple minutes later, I heard a baby crying. And Bobby was like, yippee! <laughs> this is wonderful. This is like 911. Okay, baby can breathe. Okay, right. breathe in here and cry. Once I heard the baby crying, I started crying, knowing that you assisted in something that was so personal to them. And just this little life had depended on that line that was going through on the phone. It was great. Katie, get me another towel. Hurry up. That's a good girl. Just give me a towel. Things are fine, honey. Things are very good. I grabbed some towels and I just tossed them down the stairs and Dad said I should get a brownie badge for throwing down the towels. How's the mommy doing? Mommy's fine. Okay. Nothing to this stuff, boy. Oh, good. This is unbelievable. Have we arrived? We don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Can you look? Well, I don't want to unwrap it. Okay. Can you get a string or anything? For what? You're going to tie that umbilical cord. Then came the gruesome part for him. He was going to have to tie the baby's umbilical cord, which he never thought of. How about a boot lace? Great. I want you to tie the umbilical cord about three inches away from the baby. All right. Don't cut anything. Oh, it's a boy. Oh. It's definitely a it's boy. It's a boy. I got under there, and as I was tying the cord, I realized he was a boy. I thought. I wasn't sure. The emotion had taken over, and I wasn't sure if it was a boy or a girl until I really had a good second look, and I knew we had a, a boy. I was really convinced this was a girl baby, so it was a double surprise. As soon as I got out of work, I went and I bought the baby a present and I told my husband, we have to go see her, we have to go see her and the baby. He's your new brother right there here. He is. When I looked at him, I yeah. thought he was really cute and I thought, he's my little brother and I, I love him so much. Sarah and baby John were taken to the hospital, examined, and released after two days. He likes the way you talk to him. What do you think about your brother? He's, He's got too much hair. We're gonna take what happened the day John was born was something that we will never, ever forget. Mike did great. And Katie was terrific. I think she really wanted a sister, but the second she laid eyes on that baby, it didn't matter to her that it was a boy. Let's do it. The big oh, he does want more. I won't give you more if you don't burp. No, I wouldn't be cruel. I think it was really special that, in a way, I helped him come out because I was throwing down the towels. <laughs> hey! I'm going to teach him how to eat and watch and play. He's going to be my best friend. In here, isn't she? There she is. Recently, the whole family got to meet the dispatcher who helped bring their baby into the world. Wilma is magnificent. Wilma talked to me on the phone like she was my sister, like she was my mother. She was not a 911 lady. She was a friend. You handsome. Looking good, huh? You remember? It was very rewarding to have Johnny come into this world through 911 with me on the line. It made me want to have a baby, <laughs> but I've collected my wit. Can I do Johnny? Of course, I'm partial, but he's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. He is a true blessing. We could never ask for more. He's a good boy. He really is a good boy.